Hey, what's going on you guys? So today I'm going to teach you how to remove these cables. Uh, the reason you'd want to remove these cables or this, this servo is if you're doing it as I'm doing today, a link pipe, so they no longer use this, or you just want to save weight on your bike and you've done a full race system, but most of the time you don't need to really touch this or, or remove this unless you were doing one of those two things, because otherwise it's just going to be quiet. Or if you actually remove the butterfly from this and just have it straight through all the time, in which case you don't need the cables and you're trying to save weight. Now I don't know if you guys have seen in here, but there's that butterfly that opens and closes, uh, essentially gives you a full open exhaust and completely closed um, to make it quieter for obviously emissions and stuff like that. First one you want to do is undo these two retaining nuts. They're both 10 mil. So once these captive nuts are loosened, leave this as it is and start working up here to get into the servo in the back. So once you remove the rear seat, which is pretty simple, you just stick your key in with the seat up. Down in here is that servo that I'm talking about. Now, you don't actually have to remove the rider's seat to get to it. What you want to undo is that one, that one, that one, and that one. Now these, you undo these with a small Phillips head screwdriver. They're not conventional screws. They're actually what the trim clips or scrivets, they're known as. Once you get this plastic panel out of the way, we should have easy access down into this servo. The best way to get these scrivets out is just lightly, I mean really lightly, unscrew them to the point you can get your nail underneath or a flathead screwdriver underneath and pull them up and out. Or if you've got one of those trim tools, which is like a Y shape, just clip it in and pull it out. And there you go. Do that four times. And once you've got that out, you got these here. You push down on that and just feed, feed this trim piece out like so. And that is the servo we want to pull out. This servo is pretty easy to remove. Just one 5mm Allen key. Be careful not to drop anything down into the bike. We'll drop one of those <laughs> screw fit things down in there before, so we've got to try and find that. So once that's done, let me just lift, lift this servo up on its side so you can unscrew this side panel here and get into where those cables are. Now once you've got the side off that servo and that's exposed, you want to come back down here. You want to make sure this nut's wound all the way forward, wind this nut all the way back, and you can just pull the cable out the side like so. Just work it around so it comes out like so. Now here's the, here's the tricky part. You've now got to try and figure out which cable goes where to the servo. So if you ever you do ever have to put this back together, you can remember which way this goes. So I've taken a picture, black is on the top, silver's on the bottom. But up here at the servo end, you can't see that. So once you've loosened one off, try and see which one has the play, which is the, this is the top one. As you can see as I'm pulling on that, it's moving that cable and then you just unclip that. Now the reason why I'm leaving this servo in here and not taking it out is if you take it out it brings lights up on the dash. Now you can get a uh, servo eliminator or a servo buddy which is a little dongle that just plugs in which I may get that down the track and then have this all assembled so if I ever have to put it back I can uh, but until such time I'm going to leave this in so this servo will still keep working as normal, but be doing nothing down here. And once that's done, all you've got to do is unclip the cable. I'll lift this servo up so I can see. It's a bit difficult because the sun's here, but unclip the cable out of there, which you just pull back once it's off this little wheel here. And you run the cable out of the back, which clips under there. You just feed this out. 
and just keep working it until you can pull it out like so. And then put these cables off to the side. Unless you're using it as a race bike and you're never ever going to put it back to a street bike. Um, put these cables to the side, hold on to them because I could imagine they, they'll probably be pretty expensive if you go to buy them from Yamaha. Now, the same process again. Just pull it out the side like so. Undo that. Sit that there. This servo here. Like I said, this is a bit hard to film this. You run the cable round. So it slides out the side here. Takes a little bit of doing. Just pull, pull back on this cable so it from just underneath the bike, pulling back on the cable. There we are, it's clipped. Come unclipped. Now I can feed this cable up and pull it out the side like so. And now just feed it out the bottom of the bike. Make sure you unclip it from everything. And just slowly down and out and voila you've undo that now all you do with this servo now is just screw the side back onto it and bolt it back down it will continue to work as it was thinking that everything's fine uh, and then that way you have no lights up on your dash After you've got the servo sitting back where it's meant to go, sit the bolt back in. Obviously, don't mind what I'm doing here. I dropped a um, sir clip, uh, not a sir clip, a trim clip, down into the bike. So that's why all this is out, so I can actually track it down. If you do want to pull all this out, you can. You don't have to though, it really makes no difference, the battery's in the way, you have to pull half the bike apart to get down to where the cables are, you just literally pull the cables out through exactly how I showed you. So, unless you drop a clip like what I did that went down into the bike. Now all you have to do is just put it back together, the exact reverse order of pulling it apart, and uh, start up the bike and you're ready to go. The reason why I removed it was because I did a link pipe so as you can tell the link pipe there but all done I hope this video helped you out guys uh, if you like it give it a huge thumbs up go ham on it and until next time guys take care peace